Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is my 10th video all about phrasal verbs. And in this video, you're going to learn four different phrasal verbs with give. Some of them have more than one meaning and we're going to look at lots of examples. If you do find this helpful, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Let's get started. Our first phrasal verb will be give up and you will learn three different meanings. Then we'll look at give away, two different meanings, then give back and finally give in. So starting with give up, the first use of give up means stop doing or having something permanently or for a period of time. I gave up smoking eight years ago. This is actually true for me. Best thing I ever did. I have not smoked for eight years. I'm giving up chocolate for a month. Definitely not true in my case. I don't think I could ever give up chocolate. Now, looking at this picture, we can see that this person has decided to give up smoking or to quit smoking. And here, this person is trying to give up eating crisps. I just want to point out something about the vocabulary here because there is a regional difference. So look at these two things. In the UK, we call these crisps, but in the US they say chips. And these are chips in the UK and in the US fries. So if you say chips, you might cause confusion depending on what you're talking about. In England, chips are the hot kind and in the US, chips are the kind that come in a packet. Second meaning of give up. Allow someone else to have something that you are entitled to have. I always give up my seat on the train if somebody else needs it more than I do. That country refused to give up any of its territory. Here we can see an example of a lady who is giving up her seat to somebody who is older than her. And here, if you see this on UK public transport, you know that these seats are intended to be given up if somebody needs them more than you do. They're known as priority seats. Final meaning of give up. Admit that you are defeated or unable to do something. I give up. I'll never guess the answer. I know it's difficult, but you mustn't give up. And this guy, we can see he's waving the white flag. Maybe his work was just too difficult and he has given up. Here in this picture, never give up, never quit, never admit defeat. Often used in sporting situations. Give away. Give something that you own but no longer want to someone else. I gave away a lot of old clothes when I moved house. If you don't use something, why not give it away? We have a lot of um, charity shops in the UK. Those are shops where you can give away or donate the things that you don't use anymore and then they are sold in order to raise money for people who need it or for good causes. Here you can see these people are giving away their old clothes. 
And here this lady is giving away a box of toys. Perhaps her children have grown up and they don't need them anymore. The second meaning of give away is very specific. Lead a bride towards the person she is going to marry during the wedding ceremony. So just to clarify what I mean by bride, look at the picture. The bride is the lady who is getting married. The gentleman is the groom. They're only called the bride and groom on the day of their wedding. And you can't say groom and bride. It's a binomial, like fish and chips. We don't say chips and fish. It has to be fish and chips. So we have to say bride and groom. So let's look at an example. Her dad died a long time ago, so her brother gave her away. She asked her stepdad to give her away. And here in the picture, we can see the father of the bride, presumably, is walking his daughter down the aisle and he's going to give her away to the man she is going to marry. And another picture basically of the same thing. So this is how it's done in the very traditional Christian wedding ceremony. Um, in different cultures, I don't know. I'd be interested to know. Tell me down in the comments how it's done in your culture. Does the father of the bride give his daughter away? Give back. Return something to the person who gave it to you. My neighbour borrowed my blender and didn't give it back. I'll lend you my pen, but you have to give it back at the end of the class. Now, if you're confused by these two verbs, borrow and lend, they often cause confusion. And I've actually made a video all about this. I'll put the link down below in the description. Very basically, you borrow something from someone and you lend something to someone. So this guy has obviously been stopped by the police and the police officer has asked him for his driver's license and now he is giving it back. This guy has got this lady's, looks like her diary, and you can imagine what she's saying. She's saying, give it back. Give in. To agree to do something you don't want to do after a lot of persuasion or a lot of convincing. So if somebody keeps asking you repeatedly to do something and then eventually you agree, then you have given in. The kids kept asking for sweets. In the end, I gave in and bought them some. Sweets, this is another word with a regional variation. These are sweets, and that is a UK term. In the US, they say candy. Let's see our examples, or our second example. The government refused to give in to the terrorists' demands. And you can see in the picture, this lady, the mum, she's had enough. The daughter has been asking repeatedly for sweets and she's given in and bought her some sweets. This guy looks very determined. You can imagine the situation. Somebody is asking him to do something that he doesn't want to do. And he's saying no, but they keep asking because they want him to give in. But he won't give in. He is refusing. For more phrasal verbs, then take a look at my channel. This is actually the 10th video on phrasal verbs that I've done. And I've got lots of videos on grammar, vocabulary and exam preparation. And if you do like the content, then please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. 
See you in the next video.